Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back after a small round of strong to severe thunderstorms earlier this afternoon. It's been relatively quiet for the rest of the afternoon. We had a tornado watch in effect for the area that has been dropped and allowed to expire. Severe weather going to the east of us, but we will still see showers and maybe some thunderstorms redeveloping overnight tonight. So we're not done with the rain yet, uh, primarily because the upper level low pressure system that is guiding this system is way back here in West Texas. That's where we're seeing the snow. Uh, snow from Texas all the way up through the Midwest and the Great Lakes and then farther to the east, the severe weather threat. Unfortunately for us, the cool front outrun mo outran most of the severe thunderstorm dynamics and we're left with just shower activity. Uh, that tornado watch dropped, including eastern Louisiana. Just a tornado watch for our friends over in Mississippi till midnight tonight. A couple of tornado warnings going here from just around the Jackson area on northeastward. Uh, but locally, not a whole lot going on. Here's a six hour loop and you can see how so strong to severe storms move through the area and typically uh, usually the Gulf of Mexico with uh, foggy conditions out there and a marine layer doesn't allow severe thunderstorms to develop across or really inhibit severe development across the area. Well, we did get a cluster that pushed through that and once we saw it coming on sure we knew we'd have some strong to severe weather and did get wind gusts in the 50 to 60 mile an hour range, some pea to marble size hail, but nothing that was was outlandish and that is the good news after those storms moved on through now just a few spotty showers uh, down across the coastal areas and then farther to the north as well uh, but overall we're not seeing a whole lot right now but we're going to see more shower activity as we head into the evening and overnight hours and even some thunderstorm activity when a stronger disturbance moves on through and the upper level winds get more favorable but the front will be east of us so we don't think we're going to see a severe weather threat but sometimes uh, with these storms in colder air we're going to have temperatures in the 50s. We might see some pea sized hail and some rumbles of thunder. So if you hear thunder, don't be surprised if there's a little hail out there, but nothing that's going to be damaging. Those showers continue through the wee morning hours of our Thursday morning. And then by Thursday daybreak, we're left with mostly cloudy skies, maybe some mist. Might see a break in the cloud cover, but it's going to stay mostly cloudy most of the day and chilly with temperatures holding in the 40s. We finally clear out tomorrow evening. Cold air moves in for one night and one morning only Friday morning and then uh, it will segue back to cool Friday afternoon. This frontal boundary here to the west will move in for Saturday, but wash out. We're not expecting any weather or significant weather with it. I got rain chance this weekend at 10%. So overnight tonight through tomorrow, latest high resolution rapid refresh model indicating another half inch uh, to maybe three quarters of an inch of rain possible overnight tonight when that's pretty much what we got earlier today across many spots. A few spots catching an inch or two of rain though in those heavier storms and then temperatures look at this upper 40s tomorrow and notice we don't get out of the 40s tomorrow afternoon. Wind chills in the lower 40s, so it's going to feel like winter out there with the cloud cover. Then we clear out tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, low to mid 30s. Chance of frost or a light freeze. Northern portions of Acadiana up through Alexandria. We're going to go about 35 of the low, 36 of the low in Lafayette. So it's going to be chilly. Maybe some frost, but there's going to be some wind as well, so frost may not develop. And as we head into Friday, warming back up. The normal this time of year, right around 63, 64. We we should be close to that and then start beating that again as we head into the weekend. So back to a winter scenario for one day, one day only highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s tomorrow night. But then we warm up a Friday, Saturday and Sunday in the lower 70s. We'll call it partly cloudy skies, slight chance of a shower, but not likely this weekend. Uh, but as we go into next week, certainly spring like temperatures and pretty good rain chances Monday, perhaps again on Wednesday, perhaps again on Friday. Bottom line, spring temperatures, spring showers means spring flowers, but just don't plant anything quite yet until after Friday. And by the way, uh, talk a little bit more about this later on tonight at 10. When is the last freeze or frost that we can expect here <laughs> in Acadiana? Mm -hmm. We'll answer that climatologically speaking, okay. because meteorologically speaking, I can't forecast that. But what's the normal last freeze mm -hmm. or frost date that tonight at 10? Very good. Thanks, Rob.